Hi, this is Danny Johnson. Just wanted to share a, a little story with you. Um, I think it's pretty relevant, especially to life. If there's anybody out there struggling, uh, if you have a family member that's sick or something to, that you're having to overcome, just remember in any business or any adventure, you're going to have some obstacles. And overcoming those obstacles really builds character. And I know a lot of times people say, well, I don't want this character. But it does come to pass, and some of these things will help you when you build your character. Um, one of the things that we look for is um, finding the silver lining in any cloud. Uh, this story dates back to 1990 when my wife, uh, Lori, she was found with a very cancer. And when they had completed the first surgery on her, she they had found out that she had a little tumor inside of her and it had burst. And the doctor had told us to listen. He said, you know what? He says, um, after about 10 days, he came back to us. He said, listen, he said, um, you know, your wife is not in good shape. I said, well, what are you talking about, doc? He said, well, he said, we burst our tumor in her and it's cancer and spread all inside of her. Take in, my mind, take in mind that my wife is 29 years old at this time. And we had a 12-month-old daughter. And there's even a story about her also. And here's what I heard. Now, I don't know how your faith is and what you believe. I don't believe in religion, but I do believe in a relationship. And I'm, I'm talking about Christ, and I, I'm bold about that. That's just how I stand. But I heard a little voice as I am that I am. And I will never forget that day whenever the doctor had said that. And my wife, she was crying, and the doctor was crying. I said, what's next? See, how you handle life depends on how the outcome will be. But if you'll stand strong, other people will rally around you. Well, long story short, we went from that doctor. He said, I'll see you to any other physician that you want to go to. So he sent us to another physician. And, then, you know, we walk in, and this physician said, you know, he says, I saw you before you even got married, and I told you you'd never be able to have children. And we showed him a picture of our daughter, and he just started crying. And he says, I never would have thought you'd have had children, but we had faith. And that's why we named her Faith. And she's a beautiful young lady, married with a little boy of her own. We'll, we'll miss him a little bit later on. But anyway, he says, I'll send you anywhere you want to go. He says, but I give you six months to live. And I said, I said, okay, doc, send us somewhere else. So they sent us to Duke University. I know a lot of people know about Duke University. And when we went to Duke University, another doctor there, you know, he was very point. He says, I give you six months to live. He said, there's no way from what, we're, what we see it's just spread all over your body. But he says, I'll do whatever you want me to do. And I looked at him really stern. I said, listen, you do what you've got to do, and we'll let the Lord handle the rest of it. He says, I can't. He says, that's a deal. So this time in July, the 9th, I remember going in. It's 9 o'clock in the morning. They went in, and they you know, doing, doing surgery on her. And he says, listen, we've done 100 biopsies, and we haven't found anything in your wife. No cancer at all. So at 11 o'clock, he came out. And he says, you know, there's something odd. We can't find anything still. He says, I have five positions. He says, I don't understand what's going on here. So at three, about 3, 3.30, he came back out. He said, listen, he says, your wife is out of surgery. She came through good. He said, we're going to do some chemo and some radiation because that's the protocol that she was going through. Now, here's what I'm going to tell you. She went through those things, and those were struggles. But whatever you're going through in life, whether it's you know, business, home, it doesn't make any difference. Your testimony to what you've been through and what you go through is so vital to people just making it another day or another second or another minute just to take it to that point. So, you know, long story short, this was 17 years ago. And my wife, she's, you know, you see her in the pictures that, that I have on Facebook and some other places. She's a beautiful lady and she has been in awesome condition ever since then. And, you know, we have... Faith, which is she's 19 now, she has a little boy. Like I was saying, I have another granddaughter, another daughter. They're 31, and a granddaughter is um, 11. But here's what you have to do. You know, some people say, "Well, you know, favor is not deserved." The favor is deserved because there was a lot of times that you know we went through struggles and we were crying and we were we didn't know what our purpose was. But here's a purpose. Our purpose is to tell you our story give you hope and let you know that anybody can make it if they have the faith of a grain of a mustard seed you can move the mountains um, this is just part of our story part of our life we want to get to know you get to know us you know down below you see our email you see our phone number feel free to give us a call
yes, we we love business, we love helping people, and you know what? The greatest thing that you can do is love your neighbor as yourself. So uh, this is Danny Johnson. More to come. We look forward to hearing from you. Take care, and you have a blessed evening.